Thanks again for tuning in to Cam and Company here on NRANews.com and Sirius XM Patriot 125, continuing our coverage of the 2012 SHOT Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. And right now, I think this is, uh, we've set a new record here for the number of guests simultaneously on Cam and Company. We have eight members of the uh, cast of Top Shot Season 4 with us. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to go down the, uh, the the list here that I have in front of me because there's no way I could keep all of your names straight. I'm really, really sorry about that. Uh, uh, Frank Maloney? Yes, sir. Frank, good to see you, sir. Uh, Terry Vaughn is with us as well. Hi, Hello, Terry. Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. That is an Oregon accent, isn't it? Absolutely, Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I get those confused sometimes. Uh, uh, Tim Treffin is with us as well. Tim, how you doing, sir? Also, uh, Gregory Littlejohn. How are you, Gregory? Uh, uh, Danny Chilean? Am I pronouncing that correctly, Danny? Close, Close enough? enough? Okay, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. If I tried it with a uh, with an Oregon or Mississippi accent, I might be able to get a little closer. Uh, Michelle Viscucci? Viscucci. Viscucci. Yes. All right, thank you, Michelle. And uh, uh, Gabrielle Franco? Gabby Franco. All right, Gabby, thank you so much. Thank all of you for uh, coming on the program. I mean, this is uh, fantastic to have so. Oh, I forgot someone here. I'm sorry, Colin. Hey, Colin, how are you? How are you doing? I'm sorry, Colin. It's good to see you. Colin Gallagher is also with us. Uh, all right, so, wow. Uh, do we have half of the cast of Top Shot right here in front of us right now? My goodness, this is fantastic. Now, season four has not started airing yet, right? No. February 14th, 14th at 10 p.m. All right. So if I ask you who wins, you aren't going to tell me. No. Not so much. <laughs> okay. But the uh, the taping has concluded, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's all, right. all done with. So generally speaking, um, did you all enjoy your time in the house and at Very the range? Much. Yes. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. It was definitely awesome. The entire awesome. experience is a roller coaster ride. Of yes. highs and lows. I mean, you can't be thrust into this situation living in a house, sharing time with these people that you've never met, you know, and be happy all the time. But for the most part, it's fantastic. Right. And with the exception of Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, do you need to? Do you need a, You can smack the back of his head if you want. I don't think he can defend himself. I'm good. <laughs> Throwing bones. That was part of the fun. All right. Well, let me ask you, Greg, since uh, Terry is giving you a hard time. What made you decide that you wanted to try out for Top Shot? I was watching season two. Uh, just got back from Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Georgia, and uh, just so happened that I turned on the first episode of season two, and I started watching it. I was like, I, something interesting, something that I think I can do. And I put in, and that was it. And it, the roller coaster ride began. Uh, and it was not an easy process. It was a very long, long process. Right. A lot of paperwork. It was, it was very arduous. I want to ask, uh, I want to ask each of you your backgrounds uh, and, and how you came to this uh, program. So let's, let's start with you, Terry. Uh, what, what, what's your background in shooting? Military, 90 okay. to 95 with the Brits. Okay. So, as Ian proved, we Brits can shoot. <laughs> Even though we've had all our rights removed, if you go through the military, you know, at least you get some practice. Then right. you have to uh, move to another country. Yeah, I understand. Even I mean, we got the Olympics coming up in London this year, and I understand they actually had to change the law so that the yep. British uh, pistol team could practice Actually's in England. Practice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. That really is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Now, Frank, what about you? Um, I don't have any formal training, actually. I'm a high school custodian. Um, I'm sorry, hold that microphone a little bit closer to you. There you go. I, uh, I'm a high school custodian. I uh, got into firearms. Uh, I've always been fascinated with firearms my entire life. Got seriously into shooting uh, when I was 14 and uh, started collecting uh, World War II firearms and eventually uh, hand loading. And uh, that's, that's how I'm being billed for in the show as the, uh, the World War II uh, firearms, the amateur ballistician. Uh, I'm also the, uh, the, the um, series first hand loader. Ammunition oh, loader. really? Yeah, so oh, very cool. You know what? I know we got a lot of hand loaders who will watch the show. They're going to be very excited to yeah, hear that. I'm meeting them out there right now, actually. We're making a lot of connections. Yeah? Yeah, once in a lifetime experience. I'm going to take advantage of it. Oh, fantastic. And, and Tim, what about you? What's your background? Uh, my background is I grew up in the hills of western Wyoming, um, hunting, fishing, born and raised in the outfitting business, and uh, been really sh actually shooting guns since before I could ride a bike. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, and, uh, and Danny, what about you, sir? Uh, I was in the Marine Corps Infantry for four years, and then when I got out, I basically started working at a shooting range, so that's pretty much it. Okay, so you're, you're shooting every day then? Uh, as much as I can without the manager's foot. <laughs> I'm sorry? He's a veteran. She Danny, is. She is. Yep. Really? Okay, mm -hmm. and yep. Colin, what about, what about you, sir? Well, my father uh, taught me how to shoot when I was about six years old. He was a Marine Corps drill instructor for uh, 20 years and then became a police officer uh, for 23. Uh, throughout my life, he just taught me uh, how to handle weapon and respect weapon. Since then, I now am a police officer in Wichita, Kansas. 
and uh, it's just a regular pastime for me, not just with qualifications for the department, but as a, uh, an actual uh, way to relax. That's very cool. Michelle, how'd yeah. you get involved in shooting? Um, military. I'm actually in the Army, um, National Guard, but I work as active guard down by the border. I'm an MP, but I'm active guard, and we work with the Border Patrol. And, yeah, so I've been formally trained by the Army. Wow. Were you a shooter before you, uh, before um, you joined the military? No. I mean, I would go here and there for fun, but it was nothing serious. Right. Right. And what about you, Gabrielle? Well, I've been shooting for a very long time, and I started shooting Olympic shooting. Uh, my sisters and I, we were the Olympic team of my state in Venezuela, where I am originally. And I went to international competitions, Olympic Games in Sydney 2000. I qualified Pan American Games in 1999. And then when I came to the States, um, in Florida, we didn't, ha we didn't have any type of Miami Olympic shooting, so mm -hmm. I started shooting tactical and uh, USPSA, which is what I do right now. And uh, as part of the competition, the Top Shot, in Venezuela, they are broadcasting Top Shot Season 1. So my family was, Gabby, you have to go, you have to go. And I applied, and everything happened just like that. Wow. It was awesome. I mean, what, what, anybody can answer this question, but what was it like when you found out that oh, you actually were going to be on the show. It was really so exciting. exciting. I had my kids it's with the best me. Thing. Everybody's yelling and screaming. It's the worst way they do it too. <laughs> it was. How, yes. do, they, how do they do it? We surprise. Can't, I mean, you can't. they surprise you with video cameras and everything. it's crazy. Really? Yes. So it's like the publishers clearing house showing up. You they ring the doorbell and all of a sudden you my answer. My sister told me that there was a problem at home. <laughs> it comes uh, up to my job with a, with a letter. And I'm thinking, God only knows what this is. And then I see what it is. It was something else, you know. Wow. <laughs> I put my hands around her neck. I was like, I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> so you all uh, go out to this house in California. They lock you away for however long you're there, 30 a uh, month, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's how long the, uh, the, the yeah. filming lasts. You, you don't have TV. You don't have Internet. Yeah, I understand you have books. one clock, no booze? Books. Oh. Books. <laughs> do, you, do you get booze no at booze? all? No. no books. No books, no booze? Wow. Yeah, nothing. i got to tell you, this is not sounding nearly as exciting as I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, But But I, I, I know that's all for a purpose, so that you right. all can hang out and spend time together and, and you're not stuck other. on and Twitter yeah. and on and Facebook. And the fans want to know why there's drama. You just <laughs> read off why <laughs> there's drama. <laughs> we live in a house with no books, no TVs, no yeah. computers. No, no alcohol. Fun. Just the 16 of us? Or There's going to have to be drama, right? You have to, it's going to happen. You have there's going to gonna be likes excitement. and dislikes, and there's going to be people that have groups and cliques. We are the entertainment in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so Would that be you and Tim? Yeah, You're the no, entertainment? No, no, in general. Oh, yeah. you, just everybody <laughs> is, is each other's entertainment. Yeah. So, so will we see – I mean, we saw, you know, in, in season three, I thought it was um, kind of interesting. There was a lot of, of, of really – interesting drama and a lot of conflict um <laughs> we tried to steer as far clear of that as we possibly could i think everybody arrived into the competition saying let's get back to competing with the firearms let's focus on the competitions and for the most part i think we managed to achieve it everybody was there to shoot that was what they were there for yeah. and of course you know you have a little bit of friction in the teams every once in a while but for the most part honestly Everyone was focused on that. And I think as an example for three, the guys that, you know, we all know they came off really well, yeah. did so by removing themselves a little bit from the drama as best they could. But it's such a, it's such a false environment. You know, it breeds that kind of tension. If right. you have a real strong personality in there who wants to lead the charge and get weird, there's very little you can do about it. Yeah. But as a whole, the entire, everyone that came in, same, same attitude. Let's just shoot. All right. Now, I know you guys can't reveal too much, but, uh, you know, each and every year, it seems like Top Shot really outdoes itself in terms of the challenges, in terms of the, uh, the guns, uh, not just the guns, but the things that uh, you all are, are shooting. Um, does that hold true for season four as well? Absolutely. Yes. Bigger and better. <laughs> all right. Bigger and better. February 14th, right? Yes. right. 10 p.m. A Eastern fantastic Standard. way to celebrate Valentine's <laughs> right. Day. Yeah. Tuning in. <laughs> Best day ever. If you are a gun lover, yes. it's History Channel's Valentine's Day present <laughs> for you. <laughs> Listen, I cannot thank all of you enough for coming on the program. And, uh, you know, in years past, we've been uh, uh, lucky enough to talk to the contestant who's been eliminated on Top Shot. I hope that we can do that again, I, 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 and I hope that we can uh, have a chance to have you back on the program. It'd be fantastic. It'd be a pleasure. Thank you all for right. having thank us. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Like half the cast of season four <laughs> Top Shot uh, joining us here on Cam and Company.